Let us look at the ways to prepare an Excel worksheet for printing. Printing Excel worksheets presents uh, many challenges for most folks simply due to the nature of spreadsheets and how much data they can conceivably contain. Here we're using a very simple example, but uh, keep in mind that printing and preparing for printing can be an art form and it can take a little bit of work, but uh, it's nothing that can't be achieved relatively easily if you have a few basics in mind. All right, looking at our sheet, if we want to go ahead and send this to print, we need to make sure that it's going to fit properly on the printed page. One way of checking to see how it's going to look before we waste any paper and send this worksheet to print is to go and take a look at the print preview. And if you click on the Microsoft Office button at the upper left hand corner of your Excel screen, and you come down to the print option and hover over it, and then move your mouse over and click on print preview. That will give you a preview of what you'll get if you were to send your worksheet to the printer as it stands right now. And one thing to take a look at right off the bat is at the lower left where it gives you a page count. Now I don't have too much data on this particular worksheet and if I click on the next page button at the top of my screen or the down arrow on the keyboard I see that what page two contains is it simply contains a column or two that get dropped off the first page. And the down arrow and the up arrow will let me take a look at the pages I have. Now clearly, one thing I might want to do before I send anything to print is change my page orientation. Right now my page orientation is oriented vertically or in what is called portrait orientation. We might want to change this layout to horizontal or what is called landscape orientation so we can fit everything that we need to see on one single sheet. In order to change the page orientation, from the Print Preview tab, we can click on Page Setup. That takes us into the Page Setup dialog here, and I see right at the top here of the Page tab, I have options for orientation. You see how it's set to Portrait. Let's go ahead and click on Landscape, and then say OK. Now we look at the bottom and we see that this contains our entire sheet. Everything is self-contained on this page. So now what I can do is I can click on Close Print Preview, or I can hit the Escape key, which takes me back into my worksheet. With that adjustment made to the orientation, I now see a dotted line appear on my worksheet that shows me where the page break would occur. Now for all practical purposes, this particular spreadsheet is ready to be printed and sent to my printer. The example we just looked at was a very simple worksheet. Let's take a look at this worksheet here on the screen now, which is a little bit more involved, considering the fact that this one has over 300 rows of data. If I were to go ahead and take a look at what I'd get if I were to send this to print as it is, I'd click on the Microsoft Office button, I'd come down, hover over the Print option, and come over and click on Print Preview. And right off the bat, we can see, well, there's probably going to be a problem here with this data sheet. I see at the lower left there are six pages, but it looks like I'm not getting all my columns here. I only see columns for day and date. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Escape or click on Close Print Preview to come back out. Now another important setting or an important uh, feature to use when preparing to print is something called the Page Break Preview. And on the View tab of the ribbon, there is an option to click on Page Break Preview. I'm going to go ahead and click there. And right off the bat, I can see the problem. First of all, you'll have a little dialog that will tell you that you can actually physically adjust where the page breaks occur in your worksheet by clicking and dragging the lines manually. I'm going to say OK to that. Now what we have here in Page Break Preview is it will show you the printable area, which is enclosed within the blue solid border lines, and the non-printable area, which is all in the gray. And if I scroll down just to review what I have, I can see, well, somehow this spreadsheet was set up to exclude a good majority of the data from printing. All right, well, I'm going to hover the mouse over the, the blue border line, and I see the vertical one, and as I hover my mouse over that, I get the two-way arrow. Right when I get the two-way arrow, I'm going to click and hold in my left mouse button, and I'm going to roll all to the right, all the way to the edge of my data sheet. Okay? 
Now I also notice that the title of the spreadsheet is outside the printable area too. I can do the same thing. Hover the mouse over the blue border at the top, click it and drag it up, let it go, so everything is contained within the white area. Something else I also notice here is it shows me like a watermark indicating the page number. And I see that as I scroll down, the pages are numbered vertically. Page 1, page 2, page 3, all the way through page 6. Then the pages start over at the right going down. Page 7, very likely through page 12, page 10, page 11, page 12. Okay, well, I know that I want to compress all of this to fit on one page. And maybe I have to use landscape orientation. Maybe it will work in portrait. So I'm going to click this page break here. The dotted line, get the two-way pointing arrow, hold my left mouse button in, roll the mouse out to the right, right to the outer edge of the data. Now you see that is page one. All the columns fit one page wide. And if I scroll down, I see that this will give me five pages. So I'm going to go back and on the View tab, this is where we got to Page Break Preview, I'm going to click on Normal, which takes me back to the main worksheet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, Print Preview and take a look at what I have now before I send it to print. So I click my Office button, I come down to Print, I go over and click on Print Preview. All right, five pages, and I can scroll down. If it's too small to see, uh, you notice as you hover your mouse over the page, you get a magnifying glass, and you can click it, and it will zoom in for you. All right, there's my first sheet. Notice here, here's another setting we have to take a look at, and I'm going to show you how to take care of this. The title and the column headings occur on page one, and as I scroll down, actually, you're not going to be able to scroll here. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use the next page or the downward arrow. Next page. You have next page and previous page. You have to use these controls. Notice this is page two. I see page two of page five at the bottom. I don't have my column headings here. So if I'm looking at the printed pages and I get further down, I'm not going to be able to follow necessarily what these columns and what these cells contain. So what we need to do is from the print preview, we can go to page setup. And page setup, you have the tabs across the top here. There's a tab called Sheet. And if you click on Sheet, this is where it gives you the option to repeat rows at the top. However, notice that this area is grayed out. You can see this tab and this dialog from within the Print Preview mode, but you can't make your entries here. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to exit or close my Print Preview, come back. This is where I need to go to the Page Layout tab of the ribbon. And here in the Page Setup group, there's an actual icon you can click on that will allow you to print titles across all your printed pages. I click there. takes me into the dialog we have before, but we can actually access these fields. Where it says Print Titles, you have the option to repeat rows across the top of each printed page. Also, to print columns at the left of each printed page. We're only worried about the rows, and I can actually click the icon at the far right of that field. It takes me into the spreadsheet. I can click on the row, number, or numbers that I would like to repeat across all my printed pages. This is the only row I want, row two. I don't want the title, the days John worked, not necessary. I just want to see the column headings across all my printed pages, since I'll have more than one printed page in this example. I can then hit Enter. That brings the references of that row into the screen. I can then say OK. I'm going to click my Print Preview once more, clicking on the Office button, come down, hover over Print, click on Print Preview. OK, I see that I've got my uh, worksheet name and the header rows on the first page. Clicking on Next Page, see how they repeat on page 2, page 3, page 4, and this is my fifth and final page. At this point, if you're satisfied with what you have, you can proceed to send that file to print. Keep in mind that you might want to save your Excel file again because the print settings that we just set up 
will not be saved. And we'll have to go through that again if you want to print it at a later date. If you do not save the file, you're going to want to save those print settings that we just applied into the, into the file itself.